My guest today is Jamie Ramirez, founder and CEO of Preventor. That's Preventor.com, a financial crime and risk management platform. Welcome to the show, Jamie. Hi, Andrew. Thank you for having me here. Yeah. Well, why don't you just tell us a little bit about yourself to get started and how you um, ended up starting Preventor. I've been working on, on the financial industry and IT for the last 30 years or more, and the last four years of Preventor. Uh, one of the reasons that we found Preventor is that um, we identified that the, the current identity, the digital identity uh, industry is outdated and broken, right? We need to present a, a, a proof of identity uh, every time that we want to, to prove who we are. Uh, most of the time, a plastic, either a driver's license or any identity. So, um, so one of the, the main reasons that we we build Preventor is to to help a financial institutions to have a good solution on on the cloud, basically. And what kind of problems do folks run into if they, if they don't have a solution like that? Like, why would someone need a, a cloud-based digital identification solution? Well, that's a that's a good question. I mean, before before pandemic and all these problems that we currently all the war is having, um, the digitalization start uh, a tendency that uh, most of the business will need that need. Um, to, to do business over the, the internet. Uh, but after the pandemic or during the pandemic, this, this need is it's not only a wish, it's a requirement. Uh, most of the business, especially financial institutions, but any other business will require to do, um, uh, to do business over the internet. So the only way to, to know who you are dealing with is to basically identify the person correctly, to make sure that the person who says that it is, is is the person and is not somebody else yeah intrinio has tons of remote yeah. employees and we're hiring remote workers and working with contractors and clients all over the place so it makes sense to me especially since the pandemic that you would need a, a good yeah a good solution um can you talk a little bit about the features of preventor like what are all the different um i've checked out your website like what are the different types of things that you could provide to a company that needed to make sure that they were, who they were working with was who they said they were. Yeah, Preventor, what we do is that we have an end-to-end um, end-to-end life cycle management of, of the customer, from the onboarding up to to verify the the, the, the transactions and, and and the financial behavior of the customer. But uh, one of the main differences between Preventor and others are that we not only do the digital identity verification at the onboarding time for, for customers, but we also can provide like an ongoing authentication, meaning that a post onboarding, the, the customer can authenticate themselves for different uh, transactions for authorizations. Right. Normally, this kind of a transaction is uh, they send you an OTP password through your SMS phone or an email with a code. So all those, those steps can be avoided and can be very easily authenticated with the face recognition. Um, after that, we can also verify that the person against the, um, the sanctions list uh, not only as a anti-money laundering uh, sanctions list, like uh, make sure that uh, the customer or the person that you are gonna do business with is not on the um, on the sanctions list of uh, terrorists, narco traffic, uh, corruptions, etc. And then we can do the whole uh, entire uh, fraud prevention for the customer, like uh, know your customer, know your business, transaction monitoring, etc. And this is all done in the cloud. This is a cloud-based solution. Is there a, a reason or an advantage to why you built Preventor that way? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely, is um, it's a cloud-based, meaning that the, the 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 customer doesn't need to install anything on their premises. Is uh, zero maintenance. You know, it's like a, uh, it's a service through the internet. The integrations are very easy, uh, and, and the main the main reason that 
that is in, in the cloud base is that a, a, a small businesses especially can afford to have a nice have a nice solution uh, that are normally they they cannot afford it. No, it's very expensive to to have this type of technology or this type of functionality on as a as a as a software on your on your computer room on your server. And you do you have you have clients in all over the world? I suppose you support clients in Europe and South America and the United States, um, pretty much anywhere because it's cloud based. Do you see big differences in the needs of clients in different regions of the world in terms of fraud prevention? Well, definitely, yes. There is a different uh, in kind of uh, regulations per jurisdictions, per countries. Uh, but are we working on the international standards, which basically are very similar to all of them. Some of the countries, they have uh, different uh, requirements, which can be configured on the, on the platform. Um, uh, but we we follow the the international standards no? for anti money laundering for um, for digital identity for privacy etc. I see. So a big part of the benefit that you get is catching fraud and stopping things like that. But it also helps your business to be compliant with the requirements that international or different countries have. Exactly. Um, normally. The, when you say about when you hear the terms of fraud prevention or anti money laundering or or cyber security, you immediately you know link that solution to something that uh, is going to help you to prevent. It's more like a cost than to get businesses. But in today, the digital identity is not only to to prevent fraud, to prevent losses in your business, but also to gain customers, to increase your 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 clientele, to increase your 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 target market. Basically, if you provide services um, over, over the internet, and you can have the all the digital identification, uh, verification, and everything in place, your target market could be any any country right wow yeah that's this is a new topic for me i'm not a ex i'm on i do financial data so it's interesting for me to think about that that there's probably companies out there who could be selling to certain customers but they don't because they have no way to verify that they're they're real good customers and so if they're using preventor you could verify a customer pretty much anywhere and allow that business to actually grow Exactly. Uh, our database uh, covers more than 9,700 different uh, type of government issues IDs in, from 248 countries in 138 languages. So basically, we are here in Miami, but um, but uh, we can verify the identity of any person from any place. Yeah, right? <laughs> I love that. I love that it gives you the ability to to tell folks who want to use Preventor that this could actually make you money rather than being just something, a hoop you have to jump through. You could end up selling to a client who knows where that you never would have found. That makes so much sense. So why did you pick Miami for your headquarters? Well, Miami is my my home location for the last 30 years. <laughs> Plus, that Miami, I think, geographically is very convenient. It's a... Um, I mean, we say in Miami that we are close. We are the the the, the closer place to United States because Miami is considered not to be like a, the regular uh, United States state. Right. <laughs> we are close to Latin America and and we are close to to Europe or to any other um, any location, you know. And and lately, the, the last the, the last couple of years, Miami is considered also the. the 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 tech hub, no, the, for the startups. Yeah, I love that. It gives you that access to a lot of different markets and a lot of different talent and a lot of a lot of different clients. That makes a, a lot of sense. What do you think is coming next in this the financial crime and risk, you know, financial risk management space? Like, where is this industry going to go in the next five years? I mean, I think the pandemic's probably supercharged it. So, what's on the horizon? What is Preventor going to be building next? Yeah, I think that we are at the beginning of the digitalization, really. Um, this kind of um, identify individuals is, we are in the very beginning. 
uh, I think that that was coming coming to the streamline and, and to automate the onboarding for entities for businesses to do the the complete uh, transaction over the internet. Um, I think that uh, in the next, I don't know, five years or sooner or later, but um, definitely I will say that um, most of the businesses will be done remotely. Yeah, and that's just going to drive the the need to be able to know who you're working with and to prevent some sort of crime or bad actors. It's only going to get bigger. You you think that uh, this will be needed by, by a bank or by a financial institution when you open an account or you want to do uh, any type of those transactions? But uh, really, this this technology is needed by by anything, even by a restaurant because there is a lot of losses too in, in, in the restaurant industry uh, to, to rent a scooter here in Miami downtown, you know, you, you rent the scooters all the time. So you need to know who, who is taking your scooter. So for a Uber driver, you need to know who's your passenger, you know, so it, it, there is a lot of uses cases. Yeah. That makes so much sense. And uh, you, I'm always hyper-focused on finance cause we're, that's the industry I'm in. But you read stories about not mm-hmm. knowing who an Uber driver is, not knowing who the passenger is, and uh, people sharing accounts like on different all kinds of software platforms. So um, if the world is going to be increasingly digitized, there's no doubt in my mind that there's going to be an increasing need for Preventor. So um, that's Preventor.com if you want to check it out. Yes. And uh, thanks so much for being on the show today. Thank you.